Are we going? All right. been a long time but I'm back we're planting food plots I might go turkey hunting next weekend so there'll be some stuff coming up I figured I'm doing deer hunting stuff we might as well uh, get after it look at that that's a rub from last year this area in here is where nubby lives there's a, that ponds right kind of in here and then he lives like on the south edge of that makes him pretty safe he he actually beds right on the edge of the water so that nothing can get him from one side he's only got to look at 180 degrees not all around him and then he probably comes and stands out here looks around make sure no one's out there stages here and he comes out to eat but I think we're gonna be right there this fall. I got a new phone, so I'm excited to try out the camera. But as you can see, I'm up in the tree here. I'm actually in the tree my sister shot her first and only deer out of. There's a doe. There's a lot of big changes this year. Uh, the CRP that was here is all gonna be planted into corn now. The CRP contract ran out, so he's gonna be putting it back into see to, to crop. Um, so our food plots are a lot smaller and a lot more spread out. So that's gonna be a big change. We got that new rig that you saw there. And as long as I get applied for Iowa before the 5th of June and get drawn, I'll be gonna be hunting in Iowa. I was down there yesterday um, spraying for food plots and then in two weeks, hopefully we're gonna get down there and plant about a half acre or three quarters acre or something like that. And then um, Garrett and I are gonna be hanging out together this fall. And my dad's gonna be focusing on up here in Minnesota, and I'm gonna let him basically have it and focus in um, Iowa, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. There's a lot of big bucks down there. A pond over here behind me, and then the edge of the woods is here, and then actually a lot of big bucks will come lay right in this area um, when they really get pressured, so it can be tricky because dad's actually climbed up in a tree here before, and there was a big buck laying like right there and he couldn't get the shot through there and he ended up getting up and walking and went the other way. I'm pretty sure this is the lane where my sister shot her doe. She came from the left here and uh, she shot her here and she ran about 70 yards back that way and um, that's where she died. So that was really exciting for all of us. That new rig right there is gonna make this food plot stuff so much easier. It's got a bucket on it that you can take off. Mower on it, mower deck. That comes off. And a tiller, which also will come off on the three-point hitch in the back. That tractor will do everything the four-wheeler will do, and it'll do it way more efficiently. So I'm super pumped about that. Like right now, Dad, he just tilled one of them little food plots up over on the other end. Now he's mowing that one. And then he's gonna come over here and I think he's got to retill that and plant that and he might till this here too because it's pretty dry but before it would have been either two four-wheelers one pulls the mower better because it's got a higher hitch one pulls the disc better but the disc kind of takes a lot of laps and that tiller you go slow one time and the grounds broke up really nice especially if it's already been broke once so that's gonna be really awesome if you've been around a while or seen any of my previous videos or if you go look at any previous videos after you watch this one you can remember that most of this was tall crp but now it's got corn planted all the way up to the to the woods here so that could be a good thing could be a bad thing we're gonna see what happens here um there's a row of trees you might be able to barely see they did leave one row of trees so through the strip there's a strip there through the center that will still be maybe 10 feet wide or so so basically what that means is that 
there's gonna be a lot more food here but it's also gonna get picked when he harvests his corn that's in the big field over there that bottom side gets wet quite a bit so depending on how the weather goes that might not get taken out because if it's wet they can't get the machinery in there to get it out so we could end up with the food plot down there hopefully he gets it out but if not that might be a benefit of ours let's check out the orchard here this is one of our it's either an apple tree or a pear tree I'm not sure but this branch broke off and that looks pretty bad I'm gonna try to fix that so it doesn't hurt the tree and then the other stuff can just grow so I got that trimmed off now hopefully that's not too much damage and that'll continue to grow because that tree's looking pretty good and then we got there's one over there there's one here in this cage one there one there that might be a pear tree there's one there and then one back behind that one and then another one behind that one and another one over there <clears throat> we're gonna need to probably trim some of these trees so these get more light because we're hoping that these will produce fruit this year but I don't know what it takes you think that I think they're like seven years old so you think that we'd have it by now holy crap look at the size of that track I think it's time we get the trail cameras out we're getting closer to being on the other end now I'm wondering if there's any turkeys here there's some big deer tracks on the ground here so nubby we're, we know for sure Dubby's bedroom is right back, kind of where my dad was just mowing. I've seen him there all the time last year. But he actually sleeps in beds actually on the other side of the neighbor's fence. So we can't really just go in there. Kind of works out better for us that way too, because then we don't have to go in there. We just wait for him to come over to ours. But there's the stand I stayed in the last day. When I was trying relentlessly to put some meat in the freezer and it just wouldn't work out, that stand's got to get moved. Make a note of that. This was planted with beans. You can barely see them. We got frost on like Wednesday, so it killed probably all the beans that were up and stunted the corn a little bit. But the corn should be okay. Beans might be in trouble. As I walk down here and look at this tree right here is where there's normally a big scrape. There's a trail coming out right there. The trees I sat in a lot this year are in this line here, but since there won't be food plots here like chicory and clover and stuff like that, it's going to be interesting to see how the deer herd moves. There's a big trail that comes out here. They really like it down here, but the food's going to be different. In different places now so I don't know what they're gonna be looking for it'll be interesting to see how things change and uh, how we're gonna have to adapt to that we've never really hunted that close to that end as much but I feel like that's gonna be the main focus now since the crops can be pushed up against this field edge which could be a good thing it's just not what we're used to the majority of the woods is down on this end where my dad is mowing's on the other end, so maybe they'll sleep down here and come down there to eat and then we can shoot them, I don't know. But I'm just kind of walking around looking at what's going on here today. Nothing special, just wanted to make another video. Like I said, hopefully we're gonna be turkey hunting next weekend and then the weekend after that, hopefully we're gonna be planting food plots in Iowa. There'll be a little bit more stuff going on here. We'll see, I'll try to make some more videos. I had a really, really tough semester, I had to focus on that. And uh, we're done now, so we got some time to do some hunting stuff and make videos, so stick around. 2016 is going to be a lot of fun. We might be going to Wyoming for an antelope hunt. <laughs>